सो हे गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एच एस अकेडमी एडवांसिंग एच एस प्रोफेशन थ्रू अवेयरनेस सो गाइज इन टू डेज वीडियो वी एक्चुअली आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बो साइड कोर्स ओके इन एडिशन टू बो साइड देर आर टू मोर कोर्स दैट इज योर फो एट एंड क्यू एट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद दैट कोर्स होगा बिकॉज दीज आर द क्रूशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ बो साइड ट्रेनिंग ओके सो ऑल द एस्पेक्ट विच आर रिलेटेड टू बो साइड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो फाइन ओके गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बो साइड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बो साइड बेसिकली सो बो साइड मीन्स बेसिक ऑफ शोर सेफ्टी इंडक्शन एंड एमरजेंसी ट्रेनिंग ओके बेसिक ऑफ शोर सेफ्टी इंडक्शन एंड एमरजेंसी ट्रेनिंग दैट इज द एब्रिविएशन ऑफ बो साइड बट बिफोर गोइंग टू द बो साइड कोर्स यू नीड टू नो वन मोर थिंग दैट इज योर ओपी टू ओपी टू मेक श्योर दैट आफ्टर द वीडियो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू डू एनी ऑफ द बो साइड कोर्स और फ्यू एट और ह्यू एट कोर्स you need to go to opto approved institute okay now what is a opto and what is the abbreviation for that opto means offshore petroleum and industry training organization it means again it's a organization which is providing qualifications and approval as well as to the institutes those who are conducting practical skills for the energy as well as offshore industries offshore and marine industries okay so you need to go in such institute fine now what actually a bosite question comes here is what actually a bosite so guys see bo site is a very basic and a short term course which is required to done by the employees those who are working in marine ships those who are going to the vessels offshore platforms to work because as you know that there in the offshore platforms as well as in in the marine ship there is a very diverse and as well as you can tell it's a very complex environment so at that time if something goes wrong you should know at least what you need to do how you need to respond and all so all that information all that training you are going to get inside that fine this is the introduction so actually what we are going to study in that bo site course now main question comes here generally we have seen the videos on uh, youtube basically what they are showing is simply you are sitting in a helicopter it is going into the swimming pool it is moving like that after that you need to come outside of that is it only the bo site no actually it's a totally different now i will tell you it's a basically a combination of practical as well as theoretical skills okay it's a basically 3 year 3 days course 3 this course which will combine your theory as well as practical in a equal mixture now in the theory side what you are going to study okay in practical i am not going to cover here because the practical is a very what you can tell lots of steps are there but after this video if you are interested to know about the practical stage actually inside the pool inside your particular equipments what you need to do you can comment me over there i can make a separate practical video on that what are the steps what are the things that you need to go do over there but some things we will cover in this video also fine on the theoretical section of the bo site what you are going to study here is first of all safety induction training actually inside that there are basically four modules okay so in first module you are going to study about safety induction training it means if you are a new to the offshore platforms okay if something goes wrong if something gas is released if something fire is there how you need to respond what is the muster station now because as you know that it's a special work place and requires special arrangement because in a very small area in the offshore platforms i'm telling you in a very small area we are carrying out many hazardous activities okay so at because of that only second is evacuation training or you can say emergency training and safety it means in case of a emergency how you need to respond okay if some fire occurs how you need to abandon from the platforms okay and how you need to deal with other emergencies because a lot of special equipment is there life raft is there life boats are there so if you have not understanding of all this so how you are going to do that okay what are the meaning of life jacket how to survive in the sea for the maximum duration of extended periods and all so all these things you are going to cover in that okay next is your s square okay that is your sea survival now see guys something occurred in your platform for example this is your platform and something occurred there okay now you need to go to the ship or you can say into the life craft so how you can survive over there because you are staying on a small ship very small ship how you can survive what are the techniques to stay for the extended period until and unless help is arriving for you okay what is the meaning of signaling what is mayday call and all so everything you are going to study in sea survival okay not alone with the partners also because you are not only the working on of your platforms fine next come to the this sr and fr this is again a very important concept guys when we talk about uh, self rescue and fire fighting term because this is self self rescue and fire fighting so at that time how you can rescue yourself because sometimes you may be working in the complex areas as well as you are working in the very sophisticated areas so how you can self rescue from there in case of an emergency and fire fighting skills which you already know that okay so this is also you are going to study in that 
so guys this is your basically theoretical stage now when we come to the practical stage so practical stage again is uh, going to be like that see but before we into the practical stage let me tell you some more things that will be better for you to understand that see guys for bosite it's a basically as i told you it's a 3 day course it means 3 day course is there and the validity of that certificate is for 4 years it means after 4 years you need a refresher training okay if you don't have any refresher training you are totally bosite based again you need to spend the amount whatever they are asking institute and again you need to do all that procedure so now after 4 years or within that 4 years what you need to do in order to renew your certificate okay so there is a course that name is for it keep in mind for it for the offshore emergency training okay you need to do before the completion of four years that for it course now this for it is very simple guys it's a basically one day course and basically it is cheaper than the bosite okay and the validity of this again is four years again four years it will be validated if you want more training you can go for again for it fine now if you go to any institute for asking for bosite courses and foit courses they will tell you two types of bosite courses and two types of foit courses so let me introduce these courses to you and what is the actual difference between them first is your bosite and second is t bosite okay they will tell you sir we have two courses first is bosite is there and second is t bosite is there which one you want to do so difference is very minor guys bosite means for basic offshore safety emergency induction and emergency training and t bosite means tropical okay tropical and same full form now who should do bosite and who should do tropical bosite so see guys bosite is a basically when we talk about the practicum phase of bosite it is generally conducted on cold as well as norm, normal water warm water okay but when you are going to work in tropical countries it means hot countries okay so at that time you requires that you need to do t bosite because there the water will be very hot and the environmental conditions will be very different in comparison of the cold countries so if you are going to the tropical countries make sure that you go for t bosite okay in not in bosite now when you have done t bosite after a four years before you need to complete foit so which one foit you will complete t foit not a foit okay you will go for tropical for the offshore emergency training fine if you have completed bosite then you will go to foit if you completed t bosite you will go to t foit now question comes here is i told you about huet also what is huet actually h u e t now you it means helicopter underwater emergency training so as its name suggests you are going to sit in a helicopter it will go underwater and you need to escape from here okay yeah same like that but it's not a separate training yeah it's a separate training available if you want to do but it is one of the core element inside bosite and fuet training foit training okay so if you are enrolling for bosite in foit courses they will include some part of fuet inside that because it is a very crucial element inside that okay now let me introduce huet what what actually in a huet happens in a huet helicopter underwater underwater egress training so see there will be a metallic module it means a metallic chamber will be there big chamber inside that there will be lots of seats will be there okay in the every seats you need to sit uh, with the seats there will be one windows and as well as the safety belts will also be there seat belts okay you need to seat sit over there after that it will move around 180 degrees okay it will move like that and it will directly go inside the water for a certain depth i'll explain in upcoming videos what will be the depth and temperature and all it will go inside that after that your instructor will also be sitting with you crew instructor so he will tell you you need to escape from there through the windows not from the upper end starting in the back sides you need to escape from the windows the windows will be very big okay you can escape from there so there will be some procedures like that okay so this is the include of huet now some individuals are there who don't want to do bosite in foit because of their companies are not telling them to do that so they can enroll for huet also separate courses available on huet also okay there will be separate charges but one thing to know about that is the entire module of huet it means the entire knowledge whatever they are giving in huet they will not be covered in bosite in foit course if you are enrolling for bosite in foit no so you uh, your some element of huet will also be there but it's not full if you are enrolling for full huet the at the time probability is there you will get a full enrollment now guys uh, let's something talk about the fees how much will be the fees for that and uh, something more about that so see for bosite as per my research is what i have done it is around 18000 rupees indian okay 18000 rupees if you go to the foit it will be your 10000 rupees for one day okay if you go to the huet it will be your 8000 rupees for one day 
now you know the fees you need to you need uh, procedures now is it for you should you do that particular course yeah this is the question for you now see you guys if you are planning to work in offshore industries as well as if you are currently working so you need to do at any cost because it's a major requirement okay but now some industries are there as well as some companies are there who are already paying to their employees it means you are employer of such you can say are a marine giant or a offshore giant so at the time they will let you know from where you need to do the particular course okay they will spend money on you so you don't need to go apart from that okay some guys are there so they are just doing any safety course or before that they are pursuing both side in us so it's a no use guys because some prerequisites are not there in both side in us but yeah if company is ready to spend the money so why you are putting the, your money personal money so sometimes company are ready to spend their money on your both side qa and qa course fine guys now guys this is the practical as well as theoretical part of these courses okay for it i told you both side i told you and qa i told you now one question you can ask me here is if we do not do for it before four years of the both side then what will be the consequence of that so consequence is going to be major guys if you don't do if your four years is completed and you have didn't complete for it at the time you need to go for a both side again it means again enrolling 80000 paying again attending three days training and getting the certificate because in every training you are going to get a certificate which is uh, you can say renew for the particular period of time which will be available for the particular period of time so guys this is the full analysis of this topic if you have any further doubt after this session you can put them in comment box as well as if you need a practicum video on that practicum in the sense what are what will be the steps and how will be the swimming pool how much depth we will go each and everything parameters about that you can put them in comment box i'll be happy to make a video on that in upcoming days okay as well as any suggest topics you have you can put them in comment box so yeah thank you for watching share this video as well as subscribe to the channel meet you in the next video till then take care